reports. So the only undefeated team Whew. in all the land, yeah. in all the NFL, your San Francisco 49ers, everybody. After the Patriots are, lost last night. More specifically, Pep, yours. <laughs> yeah. Is that why I brought that up? You have been yeah. really... Is that why? You, you've yeah. been super humble. You have not bragged about your Niners doing well. But they are undefeated. But now they got that spotlight on. They are the only team yeah. left undefeated. And it worries me a little bit. Yeah, New England lost to Baltimore last night. That they was a huge Lamar. game. Yeah, Lamar Jackson. <laughs> they got Lamar. Just like my Seahawks did. You know? <laughs> Makes but, me feel better. But when you go back and look at the Patriots' seasons... Outside that one where they were trying to cap off an undefeated season, right. a couple, what was that, 2007 or 8-ish? Yeah, yeah, like um, but they've always had like a loss or two, and you kind of scratch your head, and you're like, how did they lose? Right. right. That might be this game this right. year. So, Dude, he is such a freak, dude. Yeah, Lamar like, Jackson, yeah. yeah. Usually yeah. when New England loses those games, it's like a game they drop to Miami in Miami. Like, at least this is yeah. in Baltimore. This is a good team. On it, the road, right? right? In Baltimore. It so. is a throwback to Michael Vick in terms of, like, sometimes it's just Lamar Jackson being like, I'm the best athlete on the field. Yeah. And that happens. So it's just him being a better athlete than anyone on the field. It's yeah. wild. And sometimes, like, the broken plays are the best plays. Like, right. let him oh. improvise and do his thing. Don't so. go after him. Don't no. flush him out of the pocket. No. And so, oh, look. Well, speaking of Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens, yeah. so I was looking at the 49ers schedule. Patrick, 49ers, Seahawks, yeah. Monday Night Football. Ooh, yeah. big game. That's huge. And if you look at the 49ers schedule, they still play Seattle twice. Yeah, I don't they like play it. they play the Rams again. They play the Ravens again. I like that. I like that. So it's a brutal Packers, schedule. Packers and Saints. Wow. Let's see you have a Lamar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you did. We got a lot more NFL to get to. We'll talk a little college football as well because it's that time of the year. It's all brought to you by Matheson Gas, the gas professionals, three locations across the Inland Empire to refill that propane tank of yours in Fontana, in Rancho Cucamonga, in Riverside. So make sure the next time you need gas or you need those welding supplies to hook it all the way up at Matheson Gas. They are the gas professionals. You can check them out online as well. That's MathisonGas.com. So I thought with Patrick Mahomes being out injured for the Kansas City Chiefs, yeah. this was the prime time for the Oakland Raiders to make their move Whew. in the AFC West. And they are. Big win yesterday against the Detroit Lions. And I thought, okay, this is a chance for the Raiders to make up a game on Kansas City with Mahomes yeah. out. Kansas City beat the Vikings. Like, that was a huge win. Yeah. Hey, like, toss that little uh, flare up to Tyreek Hill, dude. I mean, he's gone. Speaking of Lamar speed, I mean, Tyree Kill and Lamar Jackson, I mean, these guys are just freaks. I mean, it was a rough weekend for the Raiders to try to gain ground anyway because I think every team in their division won, right? I know, Yeah, yeah, you're right. Denver won, <laughs> Denver won, Chargers. the Chargers won, which we'll get to in a second. Yeah. It's like, not That's that That's the I'm, worst. When you get a win, but then it's like everybody else in your division gets a win. Yeah. So you really don't move anywhere. Yeah, you don't. And that's <laughs> the best game when it doesn't matter. It's, it, it's rough. And the Lions actually aren't that bad this year. Like, no. that's a pretty good win against Great Detroit win. for the Raiders. Yeah. yeah, so I just, not that I'm calling Patrick Mahomes a system quarterback, <laughs> but I'm just saying I was surprised that Kansas City was still playing at such a high level right. that they could beat the Vikings. I thought this was for sure a weekend where the Raiders could jump up a game. I will say, as an Eagles fan, Andy Reid is very good with a backup quarterback. He, he can <laughs> the, manage backup quarterbacks. He's very good with them. Huh. Who is it? Matt Moore? Like, I don't yeah. I can't remember. I, mean, I think that's who it was, yeah. He's kind of bounced around for a long, long time. Dude, you know, he he's admitted just... he had, like, zero snaps yeah, when they're... he had to go into the game. When, uh, <laughs> they did not expect Mahomes to get hurt. No. No, and yeah. he's your guy. There's no quarterback controversy or whatever. Mahomes That's is why, the guy. Right. When he played kind of not very good a couple games ago, they were like, give this guy a chance to play with the first team. He hasn't even played with not the first exactly. team. Exactly. Give him a week yeah. of practice. And he's, he's managed to get it done. They beat Minnesota, who's very good. Matt Moore from Countertops to QB. And if it's anything like when Andy <laughs> Reid was in Philly, he'll build up a backup huh. quarterback this offseason. He'll probably trade him for like a high round draft pick and yeah. just become richer for it. Like yeah. that's all he did in Philly. Part of the master plan, it's, right? Yeah, you it's, know? Just, it's what he does. He's good at it. Get that guy's stock to go up, yeah. get some, yeah. some value in return. And so. those desperate teams will throw stuff at a guy oh. who has proven a little bit. Yeah. So the Raiders get the win. Raider fans probably thinking, oh, man, great weekend. But, it man, Kansas it. City won, so that stinks. But the Chargers also won. Uh, they beat the Packers 26-11, to which... Ooh, Packers. I mean, come on. It's supposed to be a home game for you Packers here in L.A., and they laid an egg. Yeah. Big, big time. I mean, if you only score 11 points, and I, if I believe that touchdown came in the fourth quarter, so it was, it was all Chargers in this they game. They look so flat. Which is not weird. ready. 
is it LA? Is it the warm weather? Is it the beach? I mean, what more? Right? I mean, I think in terms of like the nation's weather, I think we are kind of like we're on the hotter end now, especially coming from Wisconsin. Of course, like yeah. 80s here with the sun here is probably feeling pretty brutal. A bunch of these players are from here, dude. So they're here with their friends. Right. Maybe they're not folks. it's like Aaron Rodgers said after the game, he's like, "We were not folks at all," and he was pissed, ripping them. Maybe like going back to what happened to the Patriots losing for the first time this season. Maybe this is like a wake up call right. for the Packers. Like, guys, come on, we cannot sleepwalk through the rest of this season. No. I mean, outside of the 49ers, NFC is looking pretty wide open. I mean, yes, the Niners at the top, and then like the Saints. But other than that, and then there's it's a wide open. bunch of teams. Right. Oh, there's a bunch of teams. I love the NFC right now because you have no idea who's going to get exactly. to the playoffs. Yeah, it looks like yeah. in a couple weeks when like the playoffs are coming up, it could be anybody's game. But huge game. 49ers, Seattle. 49ers, Rams. Um, 49ers have to go through Green Bay. Uh, who I say Ravens and Saints still. I mean, Ooh, they tough. could they there could be go. like ten and six when it's all said and done. I mean, realistically, yeah, it could hit the skins and you could miss playoffs still. Then Rams, Seahawks, too. All these games are gonna matter. Yeah, huge, huge, huge games. Cool. Uh, but the Chargers now four and five. Again, the playoffs start now for the Chargers. They got the win. They did what they had to do against a, a very good Green Bay team. To college football. Um, before I get to UCLA and USC, the first college football playoff. The first four teams will be unveiled for the first time this year on Tuesday. Oh, okay. So they'll unveil those top four teams. Like, so if the playoffs started this week, right. we'll know who it's going to be. And then Alabama. every week it'll be madness as teams change in and yeah. out of there. Yes, because there are still some big games on the horizon for college football, so a lot still has to be decided. Yep. LSU against Alabama is huge. That's the big one coming up, man. Yeah, I mean, there's some big Big Ten games coming up. So, I mean, there's still a lot to be decided. But with all that said, consider this. UCLA still has a chance no. to win the Pac-12 after yeah. that slow, slow, awful start. So they go and they beat this past weekend. Uh, they beat Colorado. So now that makes them four and two in the Pac-12 South. They're only one game behind Utah, and they're tied with the USC. And they play Utah and USC head to head coming up. So if they win. Wow. So, I mean, last I remember, we were talking about UCLA. It was like a two- or three-game losing streak to start the yes. season, right? But it was all non-conference. And so since then, they've just been quietly well, winning. They, yes. Wow. They, my school, Washington they State. beat up Washington State in that yeah, shootout. We woke them up. I don't know what's going on. Like, I really, I think the Pac-12 is, there's just so much parity. Like, anyone can be anyone else. Yeah. Right. Um, even even USC snuck up on Utah, right? You know what it is? You know why Utah's so good? It's because they're the only ones who play defense. Yeah. <laughs> no one plays defense. No. Defense, defense and, and run the football. Utah is the only one who plays defense, which is why I bet you they end up on top. But we'll see. They probably will. It'll probably be Utah against, against Oregon, right, for the Pac-12 championship. If, if you were going to guess. Yeah, right. But right now, if you're a UCLA fan or a USC, it's looking up. It, it's looking good. And UCLA, again, plays USC and Utah head to head in the coming weeks. Yeah. It's going to be huge nice. for, for the Bruins. Inland Sports, everybody, all over social media. We got the old Inland Sports YouTube channel as well. Please hit subscribe. It's fast, it's free, and it's got all your Inland Empire sports. Inland Sports.